to all our supporters. We know that many of you are worried about the impact of climate change on our planet. Well, we at the Maloon Institute believe in tackling climate change today. Not by 2030 or 2050, but today, and we can. By undertaking scientifically proven, practical, on-ground works that can help rehydrate the land, grow vegetation, which will in turn draw carbon out of the atmosphere and help cool the planet. You may not know that the Maloon Institute is Australia's only landscape restoration and rehydration science organisation, and that it's only one of five organisations globally selected as a demonstrator of sustainable agriculture. In other words, we bring degraded landscapes back to life. In the driest continent on earth, the breakthroughs by Maloon have been acknowledged at the highest levels of government and by scientists. I've been involved with the Maloon Institute for the last 15 years. We must urgently rehydrate landscapes. We must rebuild the hydrological cycle for our water security, food security, stable biosystems, but most importantly, a stable climate. There is a million kilometres of incised valley floor in Australia. If you multiply that water banking capacity across the whole of Australia, and all of a sudden you're banking, you're holding on to an almost incalculable amount of water, we're regenerating the environment, we're regenerating a whole watershed. This ancient landscape has all the answers that we need for us to go forward. We believe the future involves agriculture and the environment working in unison. We must create a climate resilient agricultural sector and it must be one that can play an important part in reversing climate change. You may not be aware that there is three times more carbon in the soil as there is in the atmosphere. And research across the globe is showing that soil, through increased vegetation, can help with climate change. Soil has a huge capacity to store carbon, far more than is in the atmosphere, and that's the solution. But how does this process work? Well, through photosynthesis, plants naturally pull carbon from the air, where it is transferred through its roots into the soil. But the plants need water to grow. So putting moisture in the soil will turn the agricultural sector from a net emitter of CO2 to a net sequester. Currently, the agricultural sector emits around 13% of Australia's greenhouse gases and around 24% across the entire food supply chain. In order to continue and expand our work, we really do need your support. Our plan is to restore and rehydrate large-scale catchments across the country, something that has never been done before in Australia. To get started, we need to train landscape planners and hydrologists, and this is where we need your help. Your donation of $50 or more will make a huge difference in contributing to this groundbreaking initiative to help reduce climate change, to help the environment, our farmers, and our community. Thank you.